cruise ships sail from the port of Miami past a city that loves its waterfront. But as the seas rise with climate change, the water won't stay put. So this is your stormwater drain, which is water is coming up through it. Sue Brogan lives in Miami's Shorecrest neighborhood on a street that's barely above sea level. In the highest tides, the ocean backs up through the storm drains into low-lying neighborhoods like hers. For now, it's a nuisance. But Brogan knows it's only going to get worse. It's more of a warning situation. Where is it going to go from this? And if we don't address these problems locally and globally, um, you know, we're, going to, we're going to have problems, big problems. Big parts of South Florida are at risk of going underwater in the coming decades. Across Biscayne Bay, the city of Miami Beach is adapting raising streets, installing pumps, and more. It's expensive. Residents are paying for half a billion dollars worth of upgrades, says Public Works Director Eric Carpenter. Thankfully, our residents, the folks that are you know, footing the bill for this work, realize that the cost of doing nothing is much greater. City of Miami residents have also come to that realization. Voters just approved a $200 million bond measure for upgrades in Shorecrest and elsewhere. And the city is talking with residents about more controversial solutions, like redesigning entire neighborhoods, buying up some of the most flood-prone homes, and turning the land into flood-absorbing parks. Miami's chief resilience officer, Jane Gilbert, says that won't happen soon. It's really much more long-term, and uh, we feel the, the more we are having those conversations now, the easier it is for everybody to adapt over time. Over time, radical measures may be necessary. Miami's fate depends largely on how much and how fast the oceans swell. But the pace is increasing. Mention it, that's not a bad idea. Caroline Lewis heads the climate advocacy group, the Clio Institute. She says retreat from the shore is inevitable. We're gonna have to leave sooner or later, but if we could have a planned retreat and we could implement some of our ideas for keeping people as safe as possible, for as long as possible, then we would have accomplished a great deal that the whole world can learn from. But in a city that carved itself out of a swampy wilderness, optimists abound. There's an engineering solution to every problem. It just comes down to, is there the political will to go through whatever pain may be associated with that solution and the will to try and fund it? Questions South Florida and the world's coastal cities will be asking for decades to come. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Miami.